everyone, welcome back to my new tutorial. Today, we will going to create Energizer logo reveal intro in After Effects. Please note, in this tutorial, I am using third party plugin called Trap Code Particular, from Red Giant. You can download its free trial version from the link in the description. Anyway, let's see the preview. Let's get started. Create a new composition. I am calling it Energizer Logo Reveal. As always I am using 1920 by 1080 resolution, 30 frames per second, and duration 8 seconds. Hit OK. Now import these files into the project. You can download these files from the link in the description. First import your logo into the timeline. Right now my logo is very big in my case. So I'm shortening it. Press S to open scale, and make the size of the logo little shorter. Now right click on logo layer, and pre-compose it. Name it as logo, and make sure to select move all attributes option. Now create a new solid. Name it, Fractal. Now go to Effect and the Presets, and search for Fractal Noise. Apply this effect to Fractal Layer, and change some settings. Change Contrast to 500. Change Brightness to minus 400. Go to first frame, and add a keyframe on brightness. Go to 7 seconds, and make the brightness value to 300. Now again go to effects and presets, and search for find edges. Check this invert option. Now change the track mat of logo layer to luma mat. Select both layers, and press Ctrl plus D to make the duplicate of it. Pre-compose both duplicated layers, and name it Emitter. Make sure to check these boxes to convert all the layers to 3D. Select this fractal layer, and delete Find Edges effect. Now again create a new solid layer, name it Particles. Now in Effects and Presets, search for Particular. Please note, this is a third party plugin, you can download its free trial version from the link in the description. Drag this effect to Particles layer, and change some settings. Open Emitter option and change Emitter type to Layer. Change Particles Seconds to 1 million. Change Velocity to 0. Open Layer Emitter, and change this option to Emitter. Open Emission Extras, and change Periodicity R&D to 100. Now open Particles, change Life to 2. Change Size to 3. Change Size Random to 100. Open Size over Life, and select this graph. Now open physics, then air. Change wind x to 100, change wind y to minus 45. 
change win z to minus 70. Open turbulence. Change effect position to 200. Now open O system, and change emit to continuously. Change size to 1. Change color from main to 100. Open physics. Change wind effect to 100. And change turbulence position to 200. Now go to effects and presets, search for CC vector blur, apply to this layer. And change amount to 20. Again search glow effect. And apply it to this layer. Change glow threshold to 40. Change glow radius to 30. Change glow intensity to 5. Now create a new camera layer. I am using 35mm preset. Select camera layer, and press P to open position. Go to 7 seconds. Add a keyframe on it. Go to zero frame, and change Z value to minus 1200. Drag the background layer to the timeline. Select the last keyframe, and press F9 to easy ease. Now go to around this frame. And drag the audio file to the timeline. And make sure to drag it to the starting of this frame. Ooh. Ram preview this, and our animation is complete. You can download this full template and project file from the link in the description. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to check out my other videos, and don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ask me what you want in the comment section. I will see you in the next one. Till then, good luck, and peace.